were having a nice and great day outside. Nice weather, warm breeze and the smell of the flowers blooming. So you decided, what a great day to sit down and watch some anime. So you sit down with your snacks on your side and start watching a newly airing anime called Eden Zero. But you notice something. The characters look similar to characters from Firetail, an old anime you enjoyed in the past. And some characters even look identical. You are left confused and you don't understand what is happening. But worry don't. For your help, I'm here to explain what is going on, why so many characters look similar and why so many characters are nearly exactly the same. Hi, my name is just some space guy, but you can just call me Space G. Not to be confused with Top G, because I could never be him. So Eden Zero is airing and as usually, people don't understand why so many characters look like characters from Firetail, while other characters are pretty much the exact same. Is Eden Zero a Firetail ripoff or perhaps a Firetail spin-off? Or the author just ran out of ideas and started recycling character designs? The answer for all these questions is actually pretty simple. No. That's it. That's the video. See you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. I'm joking. Y'all probably want a longer explanation. So here you go. Is Eden Zero a Firetail ripoff? The answer is obviously no. But Eden Zero and Firetail are made by the exact same person called Hiromashima. He also made Rave Master and like a ton of different shorter series, alongside with one shots for video games like Call of Duty. And since both Eden Zero and Firetail are made by the exact same person, it can't be a ripoff. Since a person can't ripoff themselves, that will be called something entirely different. And no, Eden Zero is not a Firetail spin-off. Yes, Firetail has a ton of spin-offs. But Eden Zero isn't one of them. The two stories so far have zero connections to each other, aside from few characters looking similar to each other. The main reason why so many characters look similar to each other is pretty simple. Art style. Each and every single mangaka has an art style that is mostly unique to themselves. Some mangakas have less, while others have more unique art styles. The author of Eden Zero and Firetail fall into this exact same category. His art style is so unique that if you see anything drawn by him, you will be capable to tell that it was drawn by him. Same way how you can identify the art style of Oda, Kubo and Toriyama. So the reason why so many characters from Eden Zero look similar to characters from Firetail is the art style. Any character drawn in the art style will look similar to other characters drawn in the same art style. And if you are already in the art business for more than 20 years with at least thousands of characters in total, you can't really draw any new character design that isn't going to look similar to older character designs to a degree without actually changing art style. And anyone who does art can tell you that changing art style isn't easy. In fact, even mastering an art style is goddamn hard. So most of his characters look similar simply because of his art style rather than him reusing character designs to get new characters. So no, Rebecca and Lucy aren't identical. They just look similar because both of them were drawn by the exact same person in the exact same art style. However, despite their similarities, person who is familiar with the author's art style will be capable to tell the characters apart relatively easily. However, you might be watching this and think, yes, this makes sense. However, this doesn't explain why is Happy there or why is Erza in Eden Zero. Or what about just some space guy? <coughs> I mean Justice, who is pretty much just Jalal. And yes, you will be correct, this doesn't explain those characters. However, something else does. And that's called Tezuka Osamu Star System. Tezuka was pretty much the father of anime. He was the man who put down the foundations 
of what eventually became the anime and the manga industry in the form we know it today. He was hands down the most influential person when it comes to the evolution of anime and manga. And no, it wasn't Toriyama, no matter how much credit people try to give him. Tezuka had a habit of reusing characters from his previous works in his new works, and when people ask him why does he do it, his answer was pretty surprising and simply just genius. Tezuka saw many of his characters as actors, like actors in movies, like the big Hollywood stars of the time. So he took the characters he created before and liked pretty much and straight up recasted them in new roles in his new works. He carried his older characters into new stories unrelated to the previous stories, like how actors go from one movie to another without playing the same role. This method of Tezuka eventually became its own system, called Tezuka Osamu Star System. This method of recasting and reusing older characters in new stories then got adapted by many different manga artists, including Hiro Mashima and the author of My Hero Academia. Mashima been using the Tezuka Star System through his career, with the most notable recasting being Blue, Shakeheart or Jalal, and no Happy and Erza. Whoever don't let this recasting distract you, even if they got recasted from the previous creations of the author and the characters mostly look the same, they aren't the same character. They don't have the same personality or role in the new series. Happy in Eden Zero and Happy in Firetail are two different characters in terms of background and personality, and even abilities. So even if they got recasted, they aren't exactly the same, and their plot relevance will show it to you if you keep following the story. Is recasting a lazy thing to do? In my opinion, it isn't. It is exactly the opposite of it. Using what you already created once and giving it a new meaning, role and so on is actually a pretty creative way to create anything. And Tezuka Osamu, the father of anime, knew this. He didn't just put down the foundations for anime, but he also created a system that then inspired many new generations of artists to look at creativity in a much more open way. Here you go, this is the reason why so many characters look similar in Eden Zero to Firetail characters. Or why are some characters nearly the same? But don't let this distract you, even if many characters look similar, or just nearly the same, and many names are also reused, Eden Zero and Firetail are two different stories with two drastically different plot and tone. This was just some space guy, and this is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in space. Bye!